What is up everybody? I am back again. And in this video, it is going to be an M8A7 best class setup. And um I really do enjoy the M8A7, but before we get into the actual video, I just want to say if you do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and if you're a new subscribe. So, let's get into the class setup now. So, the M8A7 is probably the best assault rifle when it comes to competitive in uh, public matches. It's not as like good. I mean, it's still pretty good in public matches if you have the right attachments, I think. But I don't really use the M8 like like a whole bunch. It's probably one of my not my least used assault rifle, but I use like the KN44, the Man of War over it usually in public matches. But when I uh, play competitive, like UMGs or whatever, I will use the M8 over any of the other guns. So it's pretty good for um, UMGs and all that. But I'm gonna go over my public match class setup. So for the perks and attachments, well, for my perks, I use Ghost, Scavenger, Tack Mask, and then for my um, attachments, I use Quick Draw. Stock, long barrel. Well, in this video, I was using long barrel, but I would recommend probably using rapid fire. I'm gonna go over that in a second, but just for this video, I did have long barrel on instead. And um, then for my secondary, I have an RK5. So I use Gus so I can stay off the mini map, obviously. Scavenger so I don't run out of bullets because that's pretty annoying. And I have tactical mass on because I was playing Nuketown and um, people like to usually spam like grenades and concussions and flashbangs and all that stuff. I probably should have been using flag jacket, but I really use Gus so they don't know where I am when they have a UAV up. But yeah, so that's why I was using those perks. Now for my actual attachments on the M8, I think that the attachments make the gun either good or bad. Like if you have the wrong attachments, then I feel like the, the gun's just going to do pretty bad. I'm not like a pro with the M8 or anything. I do have some friends that are like really, really good with the M8, but um, I'm pretty I'm pretty decent with the M8. I'm not like a star or anything, but um, I use the red dot sight or reflex because I, I don't like the iron sights at all. Some people like the ELO. I don't like the ELO sight on this gun. And so I just use the sight, and then I use quick draw because it's an assault rifle, and assault rifles usually have like a, sl a slower ADS time, so um, it's pretty helpful on that. And then I was using the stock because it lets you aim in and aim down sights and like move faster and everything like that. So that's pretty helpful on an assault rifle too. I use stock and quick draw on every assault rifle in the game, I'm pretty sure, and I use quick draw on every gun I ever use, anyways. And then I had long barrel in this class just because um, the time was about to run out and I just had a slap and attachment on. But for public match, I would actually probably recommend using like rapid fire because it's a lot more people than in the UMGs. Like in UMGs, rapid fire is banned. At least I know it is in UMG. I don't know if it is for the CWL, the COD World League, but in like the UMGs I play, rapid fire is banned. So you can't use it. But for public match, I would uh, probably use a rapid fire. So, because, you know, it's a lot more people and everything, and you need to be able to shoot faster. And for my secondary, I use an RK5, and um, pretty much all the pros and everybody, if you watch, when they use the M8, they use an RK5, and, like, everybody in UMGs and all that stuff, because the RK5 pistol is, like, really, really good up close. Like, it melts quick. It's probably better than most even SMGs up close, because it, it has, like, a really fast fire rate, and it does a lot of damage. I think you can kill somebody in one burst. Yeah, actually, you can. And so I use that on in case I'm about to run indoors or something like that in close quarters. So overall, the M887 is a pretty good um, gun and everything. But it's not like an assault rifle where you can just like rush indoors and rush the enemy spawn like super crazy. Like at the KM44 or something like that, you can. Because this gun, the hip fire on it is really bad up close. And the gun's not really too good up close. Like medium to long range, that's where the gun's best at. I mean, it's pretty decent up close. But you don't want to be like running into an enemy spawn on Nuketown because you are you might get one or two, but you're not going to live for long and you're going to die. So just make sure you use the gun at kind of like a range. Like if you're trying to cover a B flag or something, it would be good like that on Domination. But that is it for my class setup. If you don't like some of the things I use, then you can always switch a couple things up or whatever. But um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe like I said earlier. And I'm out. Peace.